guys, we're back. Lakes him go. We're chasing lake trout. We're chasing white fish. Stay tuned. We've got the underwater camera down. Let's see if we can put some fish on camera and put some fish on the ice most of all. So stay tuned and let's get fishy. Yeah, yeah. Big school, big school. Giant school. Oh my gosh. He just, one came in to look, almost bit it, and then, uh, and then he left. But one came into my top hook and he didn't bite it. He got spooked again. an aquarium and they're missing it. They are missing every single one. Eat it. Oh my gosh. It's a it's an aquarium. It's an aquarium. There is an aquarium. You can believe it. Look at all these fish. Look at all these fish. Look at them. They're all eating golden drop. Win some, you lose some. Come on. This guy's coming in hot. Oh my! I'm gonna lose my mind. I am going to lose my mind. We got that one. <laughs> that was sick. This thing just came out of nowhere and just destroyed that taco. Big white fish. Really big white fish. Ate that dark minnow. Set the hook. Oh my gosh. That was... Come on up. Wow, that's a big one. Oh. What the heck? And boom. We've been talking about that all year. And to the face. That thing absolutely destroyed that red hook and that dark minnow. The fish, I'd say 27 inch fish. Beautiful white fish. We have Lakers swimming around. That is freaking awesome. We're gonna get a release on this fish. We're gonna get a nice release over here. First fish of the day. See you later, buddy. Wow, all I can say is wow. That was really cool to see. Just came in, absolutely swallowed that hook. That thing is 
mangled right now. I gotta retie my whole leader, but basically all we're doing is there's a little bait called the Dart Minnow now by Set the Hook. I've been using it last year in a couple videos, and you know, instead of the traditional way of hooking it vertical through this way, I'm basically just going through the middle of that bait so it sits kind of flat in that water column, and then it's just so much more buoyant and a lot more bounce in that water column. It seems to be getting them. And then obviously we just throw like a bottom bait on and, and that does a trick. But I gotta retie this whole line. This whole line seems to be mangled. Let's get back down there, see if we can catch hold. There's more on the screen. There's more on the screen. Oh my gosh, that was, that was insane. <laughs> I literally made a switch up and I made my, sh my top hook a little shorter just because I feel like they were all kind of like cruising down to the bottom. And uh, I put on a Meeks, just a little bit bigger bait to bang bottom with. And this thing came flying in, absolutely destroyed that top hook. <laughs> Within moments, like moments, that was insanity, absolutely insanity. I literally just dropped down and that fish came in and smoked it. Once again, that top hook right to the face, a red hook. That's the deal out here, you know, you're mimicking those like floating bugs, those floating little parasites that they're just eating. Beautiful white fish, not a giant, not a giant, but this thing came in like a red hot chili pepper. Absolutely smoked it. I mean, not a giant, but we're gonna let this fish go. Beautiful white fish, once again. See you later. Alligator, goes to show you, quick switch up, drop down, fish on and once again on that top hook so let's get re-rigged and get back down there <laughs> that was soft fish just come in eat that thing fish on the camera show up drop down didn't think twice for that top hook another white fish beautiful whitey not a giant not a giant not a lot of big fish beautiful white fish we're gonna send this one home and uh, see if we can get some more on the board beautiful beautiful and away you go Whew. incredible had to make a change up so made a slight change up but I kind of went to a shorter leader look how short this leader is that's my bottom bait and that is my top bait this is a really short lead I noticed is that these fish you will see in an earlier clip there was like a dozen of them and they were all eating it off the bottom they weren't really interested at feeding up high high that I usually have and I usually have the high hook about you know a foot and a half off bottom so I changed it up I made it to a lower hook and uh, they've been slurping that top hook right in their face because it's right in that zone that they want to eat at. So little adjustments can sometimes make your make or break your day. So that thing came in. Did you see that? That was so sick. Oh gosh, gotta love it. Camera's been decent so far. We saw about, I don't know, maybe 25 fish and we've caught three. So regardless, ratios aren't really there, but it is fun to see. We're having a good time doing it. So stay tuned, Let's see if we can put some more on the ice.
wasn't even recording that. Fish just came out of nowhere. Ate that top hook. Saw him on the camera. Insane. Wasn't even paying attention, honestly. Didn't even have the camera recording at that point. That is bummy. That thing absolutely crushed it. He just came in and went Quick. Wow. This is a big fish. Look at the size of this guy. Ate that red hook on the top again. Uh oh. I got, a, I got a vibrato on the bottom, so I don't want to be a little. I want to be a little safer on the the hooks here, just because. Whoa! 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 Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This is this is not good. This is not good. The wind has pulled the hood up. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. This is not good. Not good. The hut is flying up. Fish, we're gonna send him back down later dude oh gosh this isn't good oh no let me make a little adjustment here you, you gotta come on in 12 minutes to readjust unbelievable gnarly that is gnarly just had some crazy winds come in my hut blew completely over my head we set up on some new grounds. Basically, I was having the camera down over there, and I and it was for, it was facing this way. So I was like, I figured I saw a lot of fish in the background, as you've seen earlier. There was a ton of fish traveling this sort of like contour, and I could see the difference. It's kind of like a a sand to shell, and they seem to be going along that line more. So I uh, I had to readjust anyways based on the wind because it was a south wind in the morning, and now it's a west wind. So I had to readjust. Um, so I just kind of turned my hut around and now I'm setting up on this this ground that I saw all these fish like funneling through and uh, I'm hoping that I can pluck one or two. I didn't get the last one on camera. Simp Whoa! Ooh, this is not good. Not good. <laughs> but uh, stay tuned. This is going to be... I don't even know what's going on right now. I, I, I hope my hut doesn't blow up. But uh, let's see if we can put some more on the ice for the most part. I'm, I'm a little nervous. I don't want that to happen again. That was kind of freaky, I'm not gonna lie. I thought my phone went in the water. I thought like all my cameras went back in the water. It happened last year and I lost all my camera gear. So it is not cheap, this camera gear. It is expensive. Let's get the batteries all changed up. Let's get back down there. We're on a new ground that's literally like five feet away from where I was fishing in the morning. So uh, let's see if we can catch some, some more whiteies and lakers, hopefully. broke off look at him he's got my bait in its mouth oh my gosh he's got the top hook in its mouth with the vibrato chasing it oh my goodness oh my goodness oh what in the freaking world how look at him he's still on my screen he's on my screen fighting the bait look at him he's got the top hook in its mouth Oh, poor guy. The hook will rust out, but... Oh, look at him. He's in the back fighting. I don't even have him hooked up. That is ridiculous. He's got a vibrato stuck to him with a top hook probably lodged in his mouth. Look at him. He's just shaking in the back. <laughs> what in the world? How does that happen? He's still there. Look at him. He's fighting in the back. Anyone catches a white fish with a red hook in its face with a vibrato trailing it, yeah, that was my fish. So you're going to get a lucky bait. Look, he's still on the screen fighting. That is, goes to show you, tie your lines, do new lines, don't be lazy, redo your lines, 
And, uh, I mean, it, it can cost you a fish and $10 worth of lures. That is a shame. I'm really upset that happened, but... <sighs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Back to the drawing board. Yeah, we're on Windfinder right now, and it's blowing at, like, that says... 23 mile an hour um, unfortunately winds are calling for even more I think it's like 60 kilometer winds there's a huge storm coming in tomorrow so uh, that storm's just blowing in hard right now but uh, we got a few fish on film not as many as I wanted to we're gonna have to call it at 1:30 right now we still had a whole day of fishing a whole day of fishing we're just gonna have to call it I mean safety first it's still mild out cracks could be opening up we don't know but these winds are dangerous and you don't want to be stuck out here in these winds because something happens you get hurt you're done thanks for following along stay tuned because we got a lot more coming for you unfortunately today I had to be called short but we'll be back we're gonna be fishing we're gonna be trying to catch some whitefish we're gonna be catching some lake trout we're gonna be chasing some jumbo perch because the tournament's gonna end I think this Sunday so this week we got a whole lot coming Stay tuned, make sure you smash that subscribe button, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.